Hey guys, this is going to be a really cool video, but it's a quick, uh, it's something quick I want to kind of touch on because I see a lot of screwing up going out there when people are trying to mess around with the heads on their vehicles. This right here is a 4.7, one of the heads on it. I just want to kind of do an overview of really what you're kind of looking for, and then I'm going to tear it down for you, and then later we'll do another video on how to rebuild it. Um, the first thing we're looking for, when you take this cam gear off, the timing gear, you're looking at this little keyway right here. You see it? Can you see that pretty good camera? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, um, if someone puts this on backwards or something, sometimes it'll shear. And if you've taken yours off and don't have that, you're going to need a new cam. And that's just something you're going to have to deal with. Um, and I'll show you where the shavings end up in a second if that actually happens. Now, on these bearing caps, you see them right here? They're, they all got a number on them. One... And then there you see the number two, the number three, the number four, and then there's always that one. But that's number five. And they have an arrow and they all point towards the front. So the first thing you would do is take this. We're going to take this off. I think all these are loose. Pops is wheeling the camera today and he's been on top of it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and bust these off right here. Okay, now the first thing you want to take a look at is in here. We're going to use emery cloth to wipe these out, but basically they don't have to be redone. Um, the machine shop basically says they don't have to be pretty to hold the cam in, so even if you've got some scoring or some marking, the book says to replace it. I call bullshit and say just clean it up and rock, rock and roll on. Okay, and I've never had a problem with it, so it must not be too much with it. The cam, once again, you're kind of looking through here. You're looking to make sure you you know what you got or don't have. A lot of times, like I said, just kind of take a little bit of cloth on that and just clean it up real nice and good. The cam, there's no way to screw it going back on. When we rebuild it, I'll teach you that. Next, you have the rocker arms. Now, they're not numbered, but I always, just for, uh, just for general purposes, keep them exactly like they came off doesn't hurt anything and you can kind of look underneath them and see if you see anything peculiar or anything strange very rarely do I see bad rocker arms so I don't sweat it too much and I'll keep those there until we're ready to rebuild it now the next thing that's important is your adjusters here and they're all see what happens is if that if that shears off on the end right there, you're liable to have metal, trash, debris, or whatever. This is a replaceable part. How much did it cost to get those? Sixty for All the right. whole set. All right, for the whole set for the engine was only sixty bucks, and yeah. basically these things float on oil. They're a little hydraulic uh, valve adjuster, lash adjusters, and since we're going to be tossing them, it doesn't really matter. But if you're going to reuse them, try to remember where they go just because, you know, it's been sitting there forever and it kind of knows where it's going. But you can't really see the oil that's inside of it, and which is really the problem with this. That's why I would definitely suggest replacing them. Okay. Now. The moment we've all been waiting for. Now we're going to use a valve spring. Actually... Now we 
generally speaking, you just kind of keep those bolts as tight as they're supposed to be. Um, just kind of turn this over real nice. Let's take kind of a look here. What do you see? See a problem, guys. See this? You want to go ahead and replace this gasket, too. Because, believe it or not, these things, when they run for just, you know, as, as a few as uh, 10,000, 20,000 miles, sometimes if you have a smaller exhaust leak, it can just, you won't even know it because it's in here. As well, um, a little trick on the exhaust. Oh, look at that. It's kind of falling apart on us. So anyway, you get the picture. All right, so if you're taking yours apart, you're probably going to need one of these. And uh, we actually put this down, and uh, we kind of sand out the bottom sides of it to make it nice and flat. Officer was teaching me that trick the other day. Um, gives you a nice, smooth surface, right? Yeah. All right, so we'll come back to that. And uh, I guess now I'm going to put it on pause, and he's going to pop the, uh, the valve springs out. Then I'll show you. This is a valve compressor. Valve spring compressor, right there it is. And guys, you could pick these up uh, if you had to. You could rent one at um, one of the auto parts store. You go to Sears and pick you one up. They're pretty cheap yep. and um, pretty accessible. Yep. I guess the hardest part is knowing how to use it, right? Correct. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and set up and um, get our first valve out. And basically, we're going to take... All right, hold on. Let me put this on pause and we'll reposition. Okay, we just realized there's a spark plug in this, so you definitely want to take your spark plug out, then we're going to set up and pull it. Okay, so basically we're going to take this position right here, we're putting the, the skinny part of the bar right there, and we're going to tighten it up. You notice it's got a little ratchet anything you just use your handle on, and right now I guess we're on the exhaust valve. There's two valves per cylinder, and notice that he has the other one on the spring holding it in. All right, so basically he's going to compress it. Okay, and there's the magnet. If we're far enough down, are we far enough down? Nope. Dang, didn't quite get far enough on that time, so you're going to have to reset and we're going to re-pull it. Okay, so there you go. We had to reposition the angle of this right here so it actually clear. Um, there's the keeper, and here's the other one. As you can clearly see right here on the valve stem right there, that's where these keepers sit at, and it's kind of like a little half moon. And basically now we're going to uh, release the pressure off of the spring compressor. Okay, and now what's going to happen is magic. Push it down. All right, because we're sitting upside down, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it from the side where the valve's at. See, the valve just kind of slides right on out. Okay, now flip it over. The spring kind of dropped down on us, which is all right. So the valve spring kind of sits on it like this. So you want to take that valve, you, I'm sorry, I just took the camera off. So the valve spring sits on it, you pull it off, and now the valve guide seals, which causes a lot of smoke in vehicles, here it is. You can just pull it off, and boom, there it is. Now, um, we're going to pull off the other ones of these, and then what are we going to do next, Bob? See, I guess we're going to teach them how to clean it. Clean it? <clears throat> make it look brand new and then grind the valve then we're going to grind the valve so I guess uh, this video is pretty much over now so um, subscribe that was some cool stuff you just seen right there and I just saved you a ton of money but seriously we're, we are going to do another video on showing you how to redo it like now that it's taken down uh, we're going to show a video on how to clean it then we're going to put another one back up on how to rebuild it um, and we're gonna like uh, lap the valves and all that good stuff. New head, new valves, five hundred dollars. It's a five hundred dollar little proposition we're giving you right here for five. zero free. You can fix. How long? Is, how much is it? We actually invest to fix this. One hundred, two hundred. 
All right, so we now you, we're You're actually, talking about gaskets. We're gaskets. Valve seals. Valve seals. New valves. New valves. Everything. Nine yards. Two hundred bucks per head. Now that's how I would do it if I were you. Of course, you can chance any way you want to. All right, guys. Nothing but love from the car man. Support your troops. See ya.